All right, we've got another habitat restoration project here a little bit. Uh, the landowner had a bunch of tree rows put in by program and they took it out of plowed field. So it was pretty much 100% dandelion because neither program nor the landowner decided to um, put in any grass seed to get the dirt covered up. So we've got almost 100% dandelion and a lot of field weed. But what we're going to also do is, just to give them a little less maintenance, what we're going to do is we're going to give them, right along this last row, we're going to give them about 15 feet of a burn barrier, their choice of either um, perennial food plot type mixes like a clover mix, or you can just go with lower grass. Um, we'll probably go with the clover mix just because it'll green up in the spring faster than the grasses. And, and then uh, along the drainage here you can see between the two fields all the way over there is a big wood patch full of um, does and good deer habitat and then of course you have this wide open drainage that they like to run during the rut so what we're going to do is bring native grasses um, buffered right up against this drainage and right into their wood patch here that is basically just an old farmstead tree row, full of box elder, easily hinge cuttable. So there's the drainage we were talking about previously. And we're trying to funnel, if you can see the barn through there, we're trying to funnel the deer through this low area, right here on the right. The switchgrass will come up right over there to the right. And if they want to come through here and mosey down this, that's fine. We'll probably frost seed with some clover in here. But as is often the case in tree lines, you can see we have a mature tree line here. We've got a great brush pile here. We've got a highway leading right down the backside of that uh, shrub line there. And then we've also got one in the mature hardwoods up here. Which is on the west end of the homestead. So you can see here as we head in, they've got some caragana that used to be in the tree rows but has since spread so you can see this is ideal deer habitat as far as uh, buck checking bedding areas so what we're going to do is come in here off of that food plot and put stands on either side of this runway with small shooting lanes. And we're also in this drainage, gonna take advantage of runoff. And clean this trail out just a bit so that we have a nice runway. You can see right up that line there. And then this is all between bucks and the landowner with house and stand access along those tree lines right over there that is east so any winds coming off the field are going to be pretty consistent right down this tunnel so they're not going to swirl a whole lot in here and then right down this drainage that we cleared out in the spring we're going to clear out all this deadfall and we've got a watering hole here that we'll put a bucket in and we can fill that throughout the year and then right through here just to make sure there's plenty of doe scent in the area We've got a natural clearing here that we'll 
trim some of the overhanging branches and then we're going to put in doe bedding right along the field edge which is about 40 yards through that brush and we're going to give them food right here early this will be early spring plot clover mix and we will overseed the new tree row the tree line there where the vishla is we'll overseed that with clover in march and let that frost seed down in some of the grasses we can come in on either end on roadside or field side um, with good cover hinge cutting hide our access and our entry and then even if they do go out to the ag fields during season to browse we won't be right on the field edge so they won't pick us off we can sneak right back through the tree lot to the house where they're not going to bed anyway so this is an ideal scenario in a North Dakota tree line um, homestead setting where the tree lines are on the north and the west side. You've got your predominant winds from the northwest in the winter. You can build your doe bedding right along the edge of the ag fields. And as long as you don't hunt it, they'll stay there. And then you can approach and do your bow hunting from the downwind side of the runways like this, which you can cut into any tree row. So this is an ideal situation for um, full season, but definitely during the rut.